Good day and welcome to the Laughing Horror News Show. I'm Kyle Laugh, and today is Friday, March 24th, 2017, and here are a few of the horror-related news stories from the past couple of days. Starting with additional news from one of Wednesday's stories regarding the Terminator franchise, according to an article on bloodydisgusting.com, the rights to the franchise are supposed to revert back to James Cameron come 2019, which is possibly why they have opted to leave it be. According to the article, Cameron is trying to get the Deadpool director, Tim Miller, to helm the remake once the rights are brought back to his camp. VR Showdown in Ghost Town is a new virtual reality attraction which is opening at Knott's Berry Farms as of April 1st. It's a game where players will go into the future to fight robots in a western setting, and it looks pretty fantastic. Some of you may remember a story I covered around last October which had Knott's Berry Farms being forced to close down their last VR attraction due to people being insulted by the use of the police term 5150, which is a code for which authorizes a qualified officer or clinician to involuntarily confine a person suspected to have a mental disorder that makes them a danger to themselves or to others. Of course, this pissed off a ton of social justice warrior types, and they were eventually forced to shut down the attraction completely. So hopefully futuristic robots in a western setting won't be able to offend anybody. Deadline has reported a bit of casting news for the upcoming film The Toy Box, which comes to us from the creators of Clown Town. They've picked up Denise Richards and Misha Barton to star in the film. The film is currently in production, but we do have a synopsis. The film follows a family who go on a cross-country trip across America and get stranded in the desert by a supernatural force that is slowly killing them off. Richard plays a mother stranded with her family in the desert, while Barton plays another traveler who joins the group and gets caught up in the utterworldly evil. And I just want to let you know that uh, synopsis or breakdown was from bloodydisgusting.com. According to Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, they're fighting for a Zombieland sequel, and so far, it looks very possible. The following is what they had to say regarding the matter, and I quote, It is an active development. We're trying to get get it going. All of our cast have read the script and love it. Ruben Fleischer is signed on. It's just a matter of making our cast deals and making it for a budget number. All the cast have become superstars now, so we made Zombieland with $20 million. So it's trying to... F- fit that financial model into a sequel model so it makes sense for the studio and being able to pay the actors what they get paid now and deserve to get paid. We see Sony Pictures chairman Tom Rothman pretty frequently now and we're pestering that dude. He's like, please, enough with the Zombieland talk. We're pestering him the way we pestered Fox on Deadpool. We're not letting it go. We really want to see Zombieland 2. It's great to hear that they're fighting for this movie, even though it's been almost 10 years since the original was made. World War Z producer David Ellison came out to inform everyone that World War Z 2 was still on the table, and according to his interview with Collider, he stated that the script they're completely happy with, and that they're hoping David Fincher will be able to direct the film, as he had shown interest uh, in doing so a little while back. So that's all the news that we've got for you guys today. Um, as I am recording, I noticed that there are a lot more news articles coming out um, for today, so definitely going to be a packed show on Monday. So until then, you can check us out at uh, Laughing Horror Podcast, so you can do so by searching up LHP on Stitcher and iTunes. Uh, you can follow our YouTube page for uh, any updates that we have, including the uh, podcast, these news shows, as well as our Facebook page, Laughing Horror Podcast. Uh, and Twitter, it's laughing underscore horror. You can also find us on Horror Me Know if you're part of that uh, group as well. And if you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything of that nature, please don't hesitate to send us a message at laughinghorrorpodcast at gmail.com or through any of the other sources that I just mentioned. So with that being said, I thank you all for tuning in, and we will speak to you guys next week.